So we'll check out the value of the 101 Super Nintendo games that I paid $70 for. So just off the bat, Captain Commando and Castlevania Dracula X are worth the money right there. Choplifter 3 is cool. Cotton was only released in Japan. Contra 3 Alien Wars. Superman Death and Return of, S of Superman. Uh, Death and Return of Superman, is it? Uh, De Demon's Crest. Hagani. Incantation. Knights of the Round. King of the Dragons. Goop Troops, a fun game. They're not all super expensive, but they're definitely worth the price. Super Mario World, Mega Man Soccer, the Japanese version, Mega Man 7, Mega Man X, Raiden Trad, Rocky Roden, Rock and Roll Racing is fun. Let's see what else. Uh, well, Prince of Persia. So UN Squadron, Super Turk and 2. Wild Guns, all good games. This is Arcanide. Don't! Oh! It, again, developed by Taito, published by Nintendo in 1997. Game value now, it's only listed at $10. It's not one of the expensive games on here, but the game is actually pretty fun, and I didn't know that this game actually has bosses, which is kind of cool. This is the first boss. I didn't really play all that much of it. I just played up pretty much until I got to this boss, and then I turned it off. But definitely a fun game. Just relax. Nothing too complicated. And it controls pretty well. Oh, like I said, not expensive, but still a worthy game to have in your collection. This is Captain Commando, developed and published by Capcom in 1995. Game value now has it listed at $110. I don't know if it's worth that, depending on how much you like uh, beat em ups by Capcom, but uh, it's still a pretty fun game. This is the first boss. Didn't really play all that much. I was just testing these games out on my Super Retro. And it looks so pretty. Anyway, it's, this is one of those games that is definitely value for this game, for the 101. And worthy of a pickup. For this price, anyway. $70 Canadian. This is Castlevania Dracula X. Developed and published by Konami in 1995. Game value now has it listed at $220 Canadian. Definitely a good game. Just got to put more time into it now that I own a copy of it. Not the original, obviously. But, uh, again, this is one of those games that adds complete value to this purchase. This is Contra 3 The Alien Wars. Developed and published by Konami in 1992. Game value now, $40. But uh, don't let the price fool you, because this is a really good game. Especially if you like Contra series. And from what I play, it's pretty hard. And for some reason, I can't kill this boss by shooting him in the heart. But anyway, definitely a good game. Definitely a good purchase. This is Demon's Crest. Developed and published by Capcom in 1994. Game value now has this listed at $110. Definitely adds value to the 101. And I'd recommend this game. Especially if you like the Ghouls and Goblins series. Or Ghouls and Ghosts. This is Final Fight 3, developed and published by Capcom in 1996. Game value now has this listed at $100. This is the first game that I know of that has a two-player co-op with the computer controlling the second player, which is kind of cool. 
I don't know of any others. If you guys know, let me know. But uh, that's a cool feature that I never actually knew about until I tried this game out. But again, this game definitely adds value to the collection here and worthy of a purchase by itself. This is Hagani, developed by CA Production and published by Hudson Soft in 1995. Game value now has this listed at $750, Canadian. Definitely a hard and fun game. This is, I think, the only Super Nintendo reproduction card I've ever bought. I paid $40 just for this game. And now that it's on this 101 cart, so the other one is basically useless now, because this plays really well. No glitches, just good times. This is Incantation, developed and published by Titus in 1996. Game value now has this listed at $190. Never really played this game before, or really heard about the gameplay for that matter. I just heard that it was expensive, so definitely adds value to this collection. And it could actually be fun. I have to put more time into it, definitely. This is Marchin Adventure Cotton 100%, Japan only release, developed by Success, published by Datum Polystar in 1994. So, uh, the only thing I heard about this game is that it's a cute one. Uh, didn't really put much time into it, but I can see how people might like it. Very colorful, and it could be fun. Just gotta actually go out and play it, which I will at some point. This is Knights of the Round, developed and published by Capcom in 1994. I don't know why this is the Japanese version of the game, but I don't really notice anything besides the Japanese uh, characters that you see in the menus and whatnot. Definitely a good game. I picked this up a couple years ago for $70 Canadian with the, with the box. It didn't have a manual, but I was happy to pay that price because it actually is a fun game. Especially if you can play it two players, but it gets pretty hard from what I remember. Definitely a good game. This is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4 Turtles in Time, developed and published by Konami in 1992. Game value now has this game listed at $50 and it's worth every penny. Anybody who grew up with this game knows that it's still super fun today, and just go get a friend and play it. And if you don't already own this game, shame on you. This is Rock and Roll Racing, developed by Silicone and Synapse and published by Interplay in 1993. Game value now has us listed at $45 Canadian. It's a really fun game. I remember renting this when I was younger. Um, I didn't know the music at the time, but I thought it was pretty catchy. Anyway, this is still down fun today. Adds definite value to this collection.
This is Undercover Cops, a Japanese-only release for the Super Famicom, developed and published by Iron in 1995. Don't know what the value is, but uh, it's a game that was on here that I never played, never heard of, but I thought it was pretty damn fun. So, again, if you like beat-em-ups, this might be up your alley. Definite value. This is Wild Guns, developed and published by Natsume in 1995. Game value now has just listed at $250 Canadian. Another good game, which is pretty damn hard, but definite value. And they actually re-released this on the PS4, so if you don't, if you have a PS4, pick it up. I don't sadly, but I'd still buy this game if I ever found it in the wild. Definitely good game. So in conclusion, great games, great value. Just 18 out of the 100 games listed had a value of almost 2,500 Canadian, including games I didn't even show, like Mega Man 7, which is listed at 175, Super Turrican 2, which is listed at 190. All that for $70 Canadian. My only two complaints, some of the game choices available, and second, Sunset Riders is on the cover but not included in the actual game which kind of sucks because I actually really want to play that game. But if you can get a chance, buy this game. Definitely worth the price. Go get it now. Do it! What are you waiting for? Now! I said so! Do it!